Jed here to demonstrate how to add an emergency location in GoToAdmin. You'll want to ensure that your account has this data so that first responders have accurate callback and physical location information in the case of an emergency call from your phone system. Please view our online resources to find out if this feature is available in your country. Please note that you must have a phone number available for each location you want to add. If you do not have enough phone numbers, you can order more. Also, the emergency location registration process may take up to three business days before a location is verified. In addition to showing you how to add a new emergency location, I'll show you how to register an existing address with emergency services, check an emergency location's registration status, and set a registered emergency location as your default emergency location for your entire account. If you're interested in managing existing emergency locations, please see the link in this video's description for help with that. You'll need to be a super admin to complete this task. The administration portal can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as a super admin Sarah Johnson, and this is the homepage for GoToAdmin. Please be aware that you may see different icons here depending on what options are available with your plan. Click Locations. Now click Emergency Locations. If you've already created emergency locations, you'll see them here. Let's add a new one. Click the Add Location button. Add the corresponding information for this new location. The fields will vary depending on the region selected. If using cardinal directions, use an abbreviation. For example, instead of south, just use the letter S. Be sure to enable this setting to register this address with emergency services. Select a callback number from the drop-down menu. A phone number can only be assigned to one location, and that must be in the same region as the phone number. This number will only be displayed when users dial 911 or 933. All other calls will display the outbound caller ID that is set up for that line. Be sure to click Save when you're done. We now see the profile for this location. If you need to change any of the information you just typed in for this location, you could click the Edit button to do so. Now I'll show you how to register an existing address with emergency services. Select the location that you want to register. This message lets us know that this location is unregistered. Click the Register Location button. Verify that the information here is correct and then enable the Emergency Location setting. Like before, I can select the desired callback number from this list and then choose Save. I'm going to go back to my Locations page to talk about how to check the Emergency Location's registration status. Take note of the Emergency Services column. There are three possible statuses. As the name indicates, Registered means that the location was successfully registered. Pending means that the registration is processing, which may take up to three business days. Finally, Failed indicates that the address or callback number is invalid. You must modify or delete this location if you still want it to be used for emergency services. If you do not see one of these statuses next to a number, that means that an attempt to register it has not yet been made. Now let's talk about setting up an emergency location as the default emergency location. First, check if you have already had a default emergency location set. If a default location has been previously set up, you would see a label indicating that next to the location name in this column. If your devices are not assigned to any specific location in the event of an emergency call, the account's default location would be sent to the emergency responders. Since this step involves a default setting, you'll need to click the settings icon on the left sidebar. Now select phones and then choose Emergency Services. 
From here, you can click the drop down menu and select your desired default emergency service location. Only registered emergency locations will be available. And then be sure to set this location. Be sure to click save when you're done. Keep in mind that we just set up a default emergency location. Defaults can be overwritten for individual users and devices if needed in their profiles. That's all there is to add a new emergency location in GoToAdmin.